hello everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so guys uh, in the last two sessions uh, we have seen that how to launch chrome browser and how to launch ie browser okay we have executed uh, we have created a simple web driver script and we have executed our script on different browsers okay on uh, uh, chrome browser and on ie browser okay so today we'll see how we can execute uh, our script in uh, uh, firefox browser okay so i'll do i'll do one thing i'll just copy paste this class and create another class for firefox browser here i'll change the name to firefox okay let me just open this class okay so this is the script which we have created already so only thing is that uh, we need is uh, 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 browser driver okay so b before that uh, let me tell you one thing so since i'm using uh, since i have created this uh, class inside the same project okay so we do not uh, do not need uh, reference libraries okay selenium java jar files okay so let me just change this to uh, a specific driver so since we are using firefox today so we need a gecko driver okay so to interact with firefox driver uh, firefox browser we need a gecko driver for that okay so gecko is a web browser engine uh, which is used many application in many application okay uh, developed and designed uh, by mozilla so basically what you need to understand is uh, to interact with firefox driver uh, firefox browser we need a gecko driver okay so from where you can download uh, a gecko driver again you need to navigate to this uh, selenumhq.org website and click on download section and if you scroll down here we have mozilla gecko driver okay so if you click latest okay so different releases uh, will be uh, seen here so this is the latest release of gecko driver so you can download according to your uh, usage so according to different uh, operating system we have uh, different versions here okay so already i have downloaded in my d drive this gecko drive so let me just copy copy this one and uh, i'll put it in my uh, script so this is the path of uh, the driver gecko driver and here i need to change it to gecko g e c k o okay and uh, now we have to to launch uh, firefox browser we need to create the object of firefox browser uh, firefox driver okay uh, so let me just uh, move over it Sorry, this should be small. Also, we have to import a Firefox driver. Okay. Now, I think uh, rest of the script will be the same. So let me just run this script. So our uh, Firefox browser is launched. Uh, it is minimized. Uh, I think the uh, default setting is um, maximized. So when we run that command uh, to ma maximize the screen, it is automatically uh, minimized that. So we'll uh, disable that. Okay. I think we got some error here. So let me just look into it okay so let me uh, do just come in this one before looking into the error okay now let's look at the error so here we got uh, element not interactable exception okay so why we get uh, this error okay so if you go down and if you click over here line number 52 and later on 37 line number 37 so this element okay 
okay so we are not able to interact with this element okay our driver is not able to interact with this particular element so why do we get this element not interactable exception so later we'll understand uh, more about exception when we talk about uh, uh, web driver exception later on okay so let's web driver exceptions but uh, uh, just we'll talk about brief today okay so element not interactable exception means uh, it, it is available in our html dom okay it is available in our html document object model but uh, due to some reason we are not able to interact with this element okay so let's look at the reason i mean what could be the reason so if you see in this script uh, it is not able to click on this particular element okay this element itself so means it is not able to click on this welcome uh, this id type of uh, this that element is welcome so it is not able to click on that particular element so let me just uh, inspect this so So basically, our web driver is. So if you click over here, it this should open. Like three options should come. So it will automatically it will click over here, as per our script. But uh, since it is not able to click here, so problem with this element. Okay. So sometimes guys, uh, some web controls uh, don't react well against uh, some uh, Selenium web driver commands. Okay like sometimes we face problem while clicking uh, a button uh, handling checkboxes okay so these are the different uh, to alert uh, pop-up window so these are the different uh, uh, scenarios where uh, we are not able to interact with particular element so to overcome such kind of issues okay so it happens it, it depends on uh, i mean browser to browser so to overcome such kind of, uh, such kind of issues we can uh, we can use javascript executor interface okay so that provides a mechanism to execute javascript through selenium web driver so let's understand uh, how we can uh, execute through javascript uh, this particular scenario okay so first of all we need to store this web element uh, this uh, element into web element type okay so let me just store this in web element okay and uh, i'll delete this particular operation click operation so we have to import web element so double okay now we'll uh, create a reference variable of java script executor so this is an interface okay and we'll assign our driver here so we need to import this javascript executor from org.openqa.selenium okay now it will ask to typecast this add cast to java uh, so let's typecast it okay now uh, this couple of lines of code is required to execute javascript okay so we'll use this uh, variable and we have couple of methods here few methods okay so basically to execute uh, execute javascript we have this uh, two scripts uh, two methods okay execute a script and execute async script so let's use this one so it has uh, two arguments okay so we'll give uh, this uh, as arguments and uh, square bracket position zero and uh, and here we have to give this element ele okay so this a couple of lines of code will execute uh, will click on that particular element okay this element okay so sorry we have to give click here as well click 
no it is okay argument zero and uh, click and okay now let's execute uh, this script again okay let's put the weight uh, keep the weight as it is now let me run it again Now it is logging into the website. It is logged in. Now it is clicked and it is logged out as well. So if you can see it is executed uh, successfully. This case is passed. Okay. So this script is executed uh, successfully. So this is how we can launch uh, uh, Firefox browser. And uh, in such kind of issues we can use JavaScript. In, the, in this case we are not able to click a particular element so we can use uh, this couple of lines of code to click through javascript okay and we can use in selenium web driver like this okay so there are many situations okay where we need a javascript to run in selenium web driver so we'll talk about that javascript uh, what are the different situations where we need a javascript uh, okay so we'll discuss in later on in coming sessions okay so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye